Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today is Tag Me Tuesday and we're going to make a deconstructed envelope ephemera holder. But first let's have our shout out to Christy, Roxana, Judy, Dora, Leslie, Rose, Annie, Sandy, and Lynn. I appreciate each and every one of you. You can make these out of all kinds of things. I have one for an example that I used coffee dyed paper and I stamped all over it. Then I used one from a digital. Then I used some music paper. Then I got a piece of magazine and I embossed it. You can do absolutely anything with these. But for this project you're going to need to start with the square. Now I have different sizes. I have eight and a half square. I have fives. I have five and a half. This one right here happens to be an eight by an eight by eight, and this one is a six by six. So you need a square for this project. I thought we would make two. So we're going to make our own envelopes. Now I know if you have followed me, you know that I love to make envelopes, and this is how I do it. You start with a square. And then you go from point to point, opposite points, opposite. And you get a ruler and you line it up at the tip of the point. And then in the middle somewhere, you just lightly draw a line. Just like that. Lightly draw a line. Then you do it on the opposite corners than you were. And you just simply draw a line. Just like this. Now let's go ahead and do it here. I want this to be the inside. Let me get it over here. I want this to be the inside. This is just a book page that I coffee dyed. That's all this is. And I am I have already inked around the edges just to save a little bit of time. And I'm going to mark my line. And then from this corner to this corner. And I'm going to mark my line. Alrighty. So you can see my X in the middle. Maybe you can see this X a little better. Right there guys. That's my X. Alrighty. So what you want to do is you want to see what do I want for my flap? Mm, I think I want this to be my flap. So that means I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it and I'm going to have this point touch the inside of the X where my pencil, pencils, pencil marks cross. I'm going to do the opposite side and then you're going to put tip to tip and then you're going to crease it. Now where was my, this is what I want for my flap. So here I'm going to bring it up and what I like to do is I like to take this point and this point and line it up on one of my grid marks and I'm going to fold this up about a fourth of an inch. Actually, let's make it a half an inch. <clears throat> That'll be a little easier to fold. There we go. Half an inch. Just give it a good crease. Then turn it. This is going to be our flap. So let's fold this one over about a fourth of an inch. Now once again, I'm going to line it up. If I don't line it up, then sometimes well, I know I will get off. And I need to make sure I'll get off as far as my measuring. My measuring will not be straight. So I want to make sure that I have a square envelope when I get finished. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to take this point, because this is my flap, and I'm going to just fold this down just a little bit. Just like that. Now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to lightly remove my marks. So I'm just going to erase my marks. And I'm going to erase this one. There we go. Now my marks have been erased. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring in my inking sponge and I'm going to ink up the inside of my folds all the way across because I'm going to be able to show you a little better what to remove. But even if um, 
I would ink this up even if I wasn't going to show you using the ink. You, I like to ink and I need this inked up inside. Normally you don't ink inside your envelope, but we're going to do it this time. And I'm going to ink this folded up corner. Just like that. Alrighty. Now let's go ahead and let's do this one quickly. What do I want for my point? Uh, I think I want this for my point. So that means I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it where my two pencil marks intersect, turn it, take this point and have the two points touch like this. I'm going to lift this up so you can see what I mean. They touch. Checking to make sure I have the correct. This is my flap. I'm going to fold this up about a half an inch. I'm going to line this point and this point up on my grid mark and then that way I can see how far up I need to bring it and I need to get it as straight as possible. Okay, giving it a good crease and then turning it. This is my flap and I'm going to line it up once again and then I'm going to fold this over about a half an inch. Okay. Isn't that wonderful? Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful envelope. Super beautiful. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to ink this all the way around as I tell you what is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. It's a Facebook group that I have and I invite you all to join. I do have a link down below and over in that group you can post your version of our project for hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. You can post what we do. There are lots of different videos over there that you can choose from. Lots of people kind of stay current and they post what was current for that week. Our personalities come out in our crafting and I absolutely love seeing everybody's version of the exact same project. We're doing the exact same project and they turn out so differently. I just think that is fantastic. So I invite you to join the little group over there. Now to join, you will need to accept the rules of the group. That's the second question. And it says, do you accept the rules of the group? You will need to answer yes to be able to join the group, to be accepted into the group. So what is the rules? The rules, the rules are to be kind to everyone and there's no selling. That does not mean that you can't sell your items. It just means you can't sell your items on that site. That's all that means. And I invite you all to join. So here we are. Uh, we haven't folded our little tip down. That's la the one thing I didn't do yet. This is the flap. This is the base. I'm going to fold this over just a little bit. Just like that. Give it a good crease. And then I need to ink it right there. We are going to need to glue this little piece right here. Move this one so you can see. This little piece right here, we're going to have to glue it down. I have my art glitter glue and I'm just simply gluing it down. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. This is the little piece and this is where I want to want the picture to be on the outside. So I'm just adding my art glitter glue and I'm just gluing it down. Now, as I was telling you, we're going to be removing some pieces. Do you see where there's a little pie shape here, 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 and here? We're going to be removing those. So I like to cut just a little over the, the inking. So do you see that I cut a little bit more than the corner? I'm going to do that on all, all four corners, just like that. This just reduces the bulk and really makes for a lovely envelope. Removing this 
piece. There we go. Now I am going to go ahead and I'm going to ink it just a little bit. Just like that. So everything on the inside as well as the outside of this envelope is ink. And this is how our envelope looks. Oh my goodness, that is so cute, right? So we're going to do the exact same thing to this one right here. And we're going to be removing our little triangles here. There we go. One more. And another one. There we are. Get rid of these. I'm going to grab my little ink, inky tool. I'm just going to brush my sponge over it just so it catches a little bit of the ink. Mm -hmm. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to decide how do I want to decorate this. Well, I think what I'd like to do is I'm going to grab some lace and I think I want this lace on this one because it is such a pretty color. This is a very, it's a vintage uh, lace and it's a very uh, creamy color and I think that would be gorgeous just to place some lace right there on my flat. So I'm going to add my glue just like this and let's just add our little lace right on there and give it a trim. That looks great. Now let's see, what else do I want? How about if we, let's bring in some things here. I have some labels. I have a small label here. That one's pretty cute. That one's real cute. I also have a green butterfly, which I think would look fantastic with this. But I'm thinking maybe I need a bigger label. Yeah, I think maybe something like that. I do want to, I think I'm going to grab my black Sharpie and fix that right there. So let me grab it. All right, I have my black Sharpie and I'm just going to, okay, I need to get the other end. <laughs> I'm going to just color right here where my body of my butterfly is. I just didn't get that fussy cut very well, so I just highlighted it with a little bit of black Sharpie. I'd like to just glue this little label down. This label is from by J. Lee Lu on Etsy. And remember, I'm just going to add it right here. doesn't really look very good right there. I'm going to cut this off. So I'm going to add it right here and I'm going to trim this off. I didn't like how that was. I didn't think it. It looked very good that way. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see I just cut that to fit. Now let's see here. How about if we add our butterfly kind of cattywampus here. All right, and a little bit of glue. And we're going to add our butterfly right here, just like that. Right, I have some washi here. I'm thinking I want a little bit of washi. I like this one. It has some gold in it. I don't know. I think I got it on Amazon. I'm not sure. It was quite a long time ago that I, I got this washi, but I don't know. I don't think I want it there. I like this color with it though. I think that color looks great. And uh, 
maybe, maybe a little piece right here. Just literally right there. Let's add some bling. I would like to add a little bit of gold bling and then I'm going to get a little bit and maybe put two on the body of the butterfly. So right here on the body of the butterfly. As you notice we have not glued our envelope together. This is a deconstructed envelope and we're not going to glue it together. Oh my goodness, I think that looks great. Now let's turn it over on this side and how about if we just place that right there. And this is another label from by J. Lee Lu. And Maybe just a little bit of net. I don't even know if two labels would look silly. Let's see here. What else do I have? I've got to find something else. So hang on just one second. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with what I've got. I'm not going to bring anything else in. And I'm just going to use my net and I'm just going to glue it right down here at the bottom and I do think I'm going to add a little bit more lace right here or maybe right here. I think down below. So I'm going to add my glue, I'm going to add my net, glue my net down and then I'm going to add my lace all the way across. Oh, took a, didn't do a very good job of going straight. There we go. And then just trimming it. And then I want to add a little bit of bling. And I think I want Maybe something like I think I need a little bit more of this washi maybe. I know what I want. I know exactly what I want. And I think it's gonna be right here in my here we are. How about if we put a stamp, I'm hoping it shows up. I am hoping it shows up. So let me get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm thinking it's going to show up. I can get it right on that light color green. Yeah. And then I just need the postal mark. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. I think that really helped. All right, so now we're going to need a little bit of bling. And okay, I think I want it going up and down this way. my bling right here. Just like that. I gotta put a little bit more down glue. Gotta get this one. There we go. Alrighty. So there we have that. Turn it over. It looks like this. Now you're saying what on earth are you gonna put in here? Well we've got all kinds of little things that we can add in here. We can add maybe a little Tim Holtz little girl. Maybe a little piece of scrap paper that we folded in half. Some lined book page and we just stamped it with one of our stamps that can go inside. Let's see what else do I have. Oh I have a library card right here. 
stop it up, we put a library card in there. And then maybe a ticket. A ticket might be fun. So how am I going to keep this closed? Well, we're going to close it up like this. We're going to get ourselves a little uh, pop, uh, paper clip. And I've got some more scraps. And this is just coffee dyed paper. And I'm going to, right here where, right here, where this piece, right here, there's two of them, there and there. I'm going to get that piece of paper and I want it to go just like this on, on there, just like that, okay? So I'm going to trim this. I don't need this much. I'm going to trim it off a little bit. Ink it up where I trimmed it. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to add my glue right on here. I'm going to take my paper clip and place it right there and just press it down. So I'm going to make a little altered paper clip, but it's going to stick up a little bit. I'm going to get, now did I use the black? Yes, I used the black net on this side. So I'm just going to get a little bit more of that black net. And I'm going to cover my paper clip with it. Not the whole thing, just the coffee dyed portion of it. A piece of paper. And then I'm going to fold it over a little more glue on it, fold it over, press it down, and trim it off. Now, since I used gold, I'm going to go ahead and put a gold, little, two little gold bling, pieces of bling on there, just like that. And then this is what we're going to use to hold it closed. Now, you can place this onto a page, you could put it into a pocket, you could, you can do all kinds of things with this. Now, you would be doing the same thing with a larger one. You would simply just decorate it up, and maybe we'll put some ruffles on this one. Let's put, let's put a little bit of ruffles right here. I'm just going to add my glue. I've got my Sorry from Crimson art studio and I'm just going to pleat it just pucker it up a little bit I'm using hot glue because it's quick it's easy and it's great for making a video but you can use your fabric tech just as easily or maybe you like to use another type of glue that's your favorite whatever works for you for material so we've got that. Oh, that's pretty. We've got a little bit extra. Let's go ahead and let's put some here on the front. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. Lay this down and just pinch it up. I didn't get it pinched very fast. The hot glue, that's the one thing about hot glue. You've got to be quick with it or you're not going to get it to work for you. About just a little bit more. We'll go see if we can't get it to go all the way down. You hear my little puppy? No, she's talking to me. She's supposed to be in bed, but she's gotten out of bed. Now she's chirping at me. Alrighty, let's just trim that just like that. That looks really sweet. Let's go ahead and let's add some more labels. Mm, did I use all my labels? It looks like I did. Let me grab a label. All right, so I grabbed a beautiful butterfly. Doesn't that look fantastic? And I've got a very nice label from Tracy Fox. And let's see, how about if we get a little bit of our white net and see about maybe Placing it on here. I'm not sure. No, I don't want it on top. 
Maybe something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's glue our label down. And then let's glue our butterfly down. And do we want this larger bling or let's stay with the smaller bling? I think I might stay with the smaller, but maybe I want to switch to the pearls. I'm not sure. How about if we put two on here and then we can finish off this ruffle right here with three and finish it right off here. I think that will work nicely. Let's glue that down right there. Yeah, that looks good right there. Now let's look at this. Oh, that's really cute. On this side, let's see what shall we do. Let's do a label here and maybe let's um, add a little bit of uh, a place. Maybe as if we let add our lace here. Yeah, let's add some lace on this side and then it will stick out. It over this side, adding our lace right here, and then lay it in, laying it over, just like that, pressing it down. Yeah, it sticks out. It sure does. Look how sweet that is, sticking out, just barely popping out, but it's really sweet. Adding a little bit of our net. I think that would be a good idea. Right here. Yeah. Let's add a little bit of net onto our underneath our label. Just like that. And then some more pearls. We're going to need some more pearls, guys. So let's go ahead and add some pearls. Sorry, I stopped talking, didn't I? <laughs> I'm just thinking about what I'm doing. I have some to show you in different sizes. And I'll show you what I've put inside of those deconstructed envelopes. I think these would be fantastic in a junk journal. You could, whether you're making your own or giving it for a gift, you could place things inside that they can use as they journal in the book. You could do words. You could do like I've done and just different pieces of things that they can use. They could just take them out and look at them. It's kind of hard to see those white ones, isn't it? Alrighty, so what do we have to put inside of here? We have just a little piece of ephemera here. And we have just various pieces of things that would really be fun to open up and have inside of your deconstructed envelope. Now this one I'm using a larger paper clip and I'm going to go ahead and fold over my scrap piece of coffee dyed paper and I'm just going to trim it Something like that. So it's kind of, it's like a tassel, but it's not a tassel, right? It's not, it's not dangly, but it's definitely going to stick up off of the page. I don't think I cut that very straight. In fact, I know I did not as I look at it. It's like, that is a terrible job. 
That's a little better. And I think that's maybe a little, we'll make it that wide, that's okay. We're just going to add our glue all the way across it, cross it, and then put our paper clip on here, and then press it down, just like that. Okay, and we used white. <laughs> We used white net, so let's grab some more. So if you use lace, or maybe you want to put a piece of fabric, or whatever you choose to place on here, maybe you just want your bling. Maybe you want a butterfly up there. Whatever it is that you choose will be fantastic. So I'm just going to fold it over, just like this. And then I'm going to give it a trim, trim off the pieces. So I've just covered my coffee dyed paper with a little bit of net. I'm just going to add my bling right on here. Mine happens to be pearls, just like that. Oh my goodness, I think that turned out fantastic. Now you could add some more bling up there if you wanted. So. This is the one in which I stamped all over the coffee dyed paper. I just stamped and stamped on it, and it looks just like this. And then inside, what I put inside this one, I've got some grid paper. I used the same stamp as I did here. This is just a scrap piece of paper. I just did a postal mark on it. There's some music paper. So these are just some scraps in here. There's just a coffee dyed paper on one side and a digital on the other. And I just did a little stamping on it. And they just all fit inside. And then it's held together with your altered paper clip. So then let's see. Let's look at another one. I have this little music page that I made into a small pocket. And it looks just like that. And you just take off the paper clip. And what do we have inside here? We have these types of little pieces. Oh my goodness. I just think this would be so much fun to have in a junk journal that you could open up and then find all these little pieces. I just think they're really cute. Here's a tiny one. Now I put some gold on here and you open it up the same exact way and they're little tiny pieces inside I've got glue all over my fingers guys all kinds of little things oh my goodness I think it is so much fun and I think it's kind of different um, here's the one that I embossed and it's a piece of magazine a picture a magazine picture we got the butterfly and then inside when you open it up you can see that it's embossed it's a it's got a writing on it it's got a pretty little flower and then I just have some more little tiny pieces that are stuck inside of a little tiny envelope and the altered paper clip it just goes on just like that and then here's the one that we made together today. Oh my goodness, you guys. I absolutely love these. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.